All right, hey there, Patriots. So today we're going to talk about the perpendicular bisector theorem and its converse. Uh, a theorem, remember, is a rule that can be proven. So I'm going to give you a rule that has been proven many times before, and the converse of that rule is flipping the information that is given and drawing a different conclusion. So the perpendicular bisector theorem states, a point is on the bi perpendicular bisector of a line segment if and only if it is equidistant, the same distance, from the endpoints of that line segment. So right here, I can see that line DB is a perpendicular bisector of AC. AC, segment AC got cut in half, and when it got cut in half, we made a right angle. Here's the perpendicular, that's the bisect. So we've got a line that cut a segment in half and made a right angle. So the theorem states, if I give you a picture that looks like this, we're going to do this. We're going to connect the endpoints of the segment. We're going to put them anywhere on this perpendicular bisector. We're going to put them anywhere on the line. We now know AD and CD are congruent to each other. And I don't care where D is. D can be down here. D can be way up here. D can be below the line, uh, below segment AC. It doesn't matter. Uh, once I have a perpendicular bisector and I go to the end of the segment, we know those uh, segments are the same uh, length uh, that make up our triangle. Now, pay attention to what's given. When we're given this, the diagram is going to show us this. The diagram is going to show us AB is congruent to BC and we have a right angle because DB is perpendicular to AC. You are going to provide this part for me you're going to give me the tick marks. All right, I'm going to give you what it looks like. I'm going to give you this. I'll give you this. You give me this. All right, the converse of this theorem says, if I give you a picture that looks like this guy right here, the distance from the ends of a segment are equidistant, then what I know, <coughs> excuse me, this line has to be a perpendicular bisector. So we know AB has to be congruent to BC and DB is perpendicular to AC. So it's just the opposite. I can give you the sides are congruent, then you can say it's a perpendicular bisector, or I give you the perpendicular bisector and you tell me the sides are the same. Now when we see these, uh, we're gonna have them mostly in triangles. So we're gonna see something like this. So I am showing you that BY, BY is congruent to YS, there's a bisect, and UY is perpendicular to BS, there's my right angle, so this segment is a perpendicular bisector to this side, so we are allowed to say that BU is congruent to SU. So we were given this diagram, and we concluded this, we're given we conclude. All right, the converse is still true. If I give you a picture that shows the sides of the triangle are the same and I have a segment drawn inside like this, I know that the segment UY cuts the side of the triangle it hits in half and it makes a right angle. We know UY is a perpendicular bisector of BS. So BS gets cut in half and it makes a right angle. All right, so let's make a, uh, if you've got any questions for your teachers, please jot them down. Come in with those questions. Be ready to answer your bell work tomorrow. And Patriots, we'll see you when we see you.